4K is four times higher resolution than the normal HD. 4K having a stellar appearances in the world last year in CES, Consumer Electronics Exhibition, when Sony, Panasonic and some other vendors came up with the new multimedia uh, 4K resolution supported uh, TV sets. So now this is the biggest driver for all over the industry. The vendors for the multimedia sets, the content providers, the pipe providers especially for the ICT industry to let them engage together and make something new for having the streaming of 4K back to the to the handset. Now people asking me many questions that what are the basic driver for the 4K. So I personally believe the basic driver for the 4K is the best user experience. Now the users are smart enough. They want to look at the tinier granularity and more detailed picture on their TV set. Like if you see on my Mac, this is one of the 4K video and you can find out the tinier granularity with the crisp quality of picture that what actually users are looking for. So user experience is basically the best driver and keeping in view this driver the, 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 the multimedia, TV set provider, the content providers, all are very busy in making this 4K content readily available. So now it's time for the ICT companies like the telecom providers, the vendors have to look at it to make possible for the streaming available to the handsets. So in short, 4K is a real life experience and it will, will become a killer application of the future. So one of the question always comes to me that what is the bandwidth requirement for the 4K? I believe the stumbling block for the adoption of 4K TV, TV stream is this, the bandwidth. Because we really need high bandwidth, quality of service, and then to get it zero waiting experience to my last user, to my last mile user. Because in home, in residential area, there might be a four or five users watching the 4K streams, either from the broadcaster or from the OTT. So we need really a zero waiting experience that can only be achievable if your bandwidth is to be achieved in the broadband pipe and broadband pipe should be large enough like as a Pacific Ocean to carry all the chunks, all the size, file size of different 4K to the last user. And that what happening in South Korea and Japan. They are very much eagerly looking for developing that pipe and probably going to commercialize in next year or so. In summary, in nutshell, the 4K stream need really a bandwidth from basic bandwidth to the higher bandwidth level, starting from 15 meg to around 30 or 35 megabit per second. Because in the coming days, 8K stream is also coming from the content side. So we are, knowing, we are going to reduce our capex cost, just made the pipe in one go and carry all the traffic streams in the future as well. So I personally believe that 4K is revolutionizing the broadband industry.